Are you looking to start using blood samples in your translational research? Or maybe you're interested in metastatic breast cancer or non-small cell lung. Or maybe the challenges and limitations of solid tumor samples have you thinking, it's time. But now what? Let's take a closer look at DNA yield and the reality of working with cell-free DNA from plasma. Cell-free DNA, or CF DNA, refers to all non-encapsulated DNA in the bloodstream. A portion of that cell-free DNA originates from a tumor clone and is called circulating tumor DNA, or CT DNA. CF DNA are nucleic acid fragments that enter the bloodstream during apoptosis or necrosis. Normally, these fragments are cleaned up by microphages, but we believe the overproduction of cells in cancer leaves more of the CF DNA behind. If you've been in the NGS space for a while, you might want to know about sensitivity and specificity. We demonstrated high sensitivity and specificity for variants at frequencies greater than 0.1% with 20 nanograms of input DNA and greater than 0.5% with 5 nanograms. You may have heard about using CF DNA for analysis at 0.01% limit of detection. Now, while the technology exists to reach 0.01%, digital droplet, for example, there's a biological limit we need to talk about. From a 10 milliliter blood sample, using the Applied Biosystems Magmex cell-free DNA isolation kit, we routinely obtain about 20 nanograms of CF DNA for analysis. Some quick math shows us that at 1% limit of detection, we can expect around 25 molecules. At 0.1%, only two to three molecules are expected to be present. That means that below 0.1%, there may not be any molecules present for analysis. Remember too, that CFDNA concentrations are highly variable. They can be very low at critical stages, such as early recurrence or development of resistance, where many researchers are now focusing. DNA in hand, your research dictates which path you take at this point. You might choose digital PCR for recurrence monitoring studies, or for research and therapy selection, a next generation sequencing method may be preferred. Wherever your liquid biopsy research takes you, we can help you get there with complete solutions for CFDNA analysis from just a few targets to multiple gene assays. I hope we've given you some things to think about as you consider using cell-free DNA in your lab, but I'm sure you'll have some questions. So submit your questions at thermofisher.com forward slash ask and subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this. And remember, when in doubt, just seek it out.